In this short video, I want to give you three reasons why the eyes get red and dry when you're on screen. Reason number one is the environmental reason. I mean, typically if you work in a room with air co, you know that it dries the air and as the air is dry, well, there's more evaporation from the cornea to the atmosphere and therefore the eyes get dry. One fix to that, the best fix I would say, is to open the windows frequently, except that in modern buildings very often the windows cannot be open. Um, of course, uh, you can also adjust the air cool, but usually it's shared property across the building, so it's very difficult to adjust this type of parameters individually. The last thing you can do is put a few plants which will humidify the, the air. The only thing with uh, when you put either plants or humidifier is that they need to be really well adjusted and well maintained to not cause other air quality issues such as fungus in the air and this type of stuff. So issue number one is the environmental issue. Issue number two is related to um, the height of the screen. The higher your screen, the more your eyes are open and therefore there's more contact surface between the cornea, the outer layer of the eye, and the environmental hair. And more contact area means more evaporation, means eyes that get drier. Okay? So this is why the recommendation is that you have the top of the screen slightly below your line of sight. This is like 10 degrees below or something. The third reason, which is probably the, the most relevant for most of you, is related to how frequently we take micro breaks. When you focus on something, you don't blink your eyes. And the result, as the attention, the focus is quite sustained when you work on screen, is that on screen, you tend to blink much less, up to 10 times less than in normal life. And blinking is what helps keeping the, um, the, the eyes humid by bringing tears on the, uh, on the outer surface. So the less I blink, the less I humidify my eye, the drier it gets. And you see, for that, the only thing you can do is take more micro breaks. And therefore, the 20-20-20 the rule, which is every 20 minutes, relax your eyes for 20 seconds by looking um, 20 feet away. Yeah, Meaning far enough so that your eye muscles can be completely relaxed. And that is super important in terms of, uh, of work organization. When we're on screen, we tend to not see time fly and that leads to this type of issues. One of the, there are two things you can do. One is take the habit to do a number of things without looking at your screen. I mean, for example, I'm now drinking my coffee. You know, I don't need to drink my coffee in front of my screen. I can drink my coffee standing before the window, for example. It's much more romantic and it relaxes my eyes. So that's the uh, same for phone calls, same for etc. The other thing you can do is use a freeware. Um, if you're on Windows, it's called WorkRave, workrave.org, or um, on iOS, you have another one which is called Timeout. I have experience with WorkRave because I'm on PC. I don't have experience with Timeout, but other clients have told me good things about it. So it's the same idea. You set the timer, it monitors the activity of your keyboard and your mouse, and when you haven't taken natural breaks, it reminds you to stop and take a break. It's more meant for the musculoskeletal system, but you can very much use exactly the same system for, um, for your eyes. It's basically the same idea.